so I'm back with another video and before the video starts it's greatly appreciated when you interact so please like comment and subscribe okay so in today's video we'll be doing we will be doing a fill in on my lovely client yes mm -hmm. and um, this is the royalty set a few videos back that um you know the gold outline set that we are removing today i absolutely love this set but it was time for it to go okay so all i'm doing right now is just going in with a medium grit uh, sand demand and i'm probably going in with the speed of 15 maybe 19 to go ahead and get this top coat off and get that um gold chrome off the edges and to remove like any um, glue for where the bling was placed. So, yeah. <laughs> going in and dusting that off and I'm fin I'm finna I'm, a, I'm about to go in and uh, push my clients cuticles back to lift them off of the nail plate because we do not want that on the nail plate uh, for when we apply acrylic because that can cause lifting you know so we want to go ahead and make sure that we go ahead and push all of that dead skin off of the nail plate okay remove all of it um, once you do push it off and I did this to you know her other hand as well see I'm moving on to her other hand <laughs> but I do try to focus on one hand but when I'm recording sometimes I just get a little confused so y'all just bear with me so we might just be switching between both of the hands but you guys will see the full set at the end but um yeah I'm just still pushing back the cuticles here just making sure that it is removed so then that way i'm gonna go in with my um cuticle bit and i'm just making sure that nothing is loose everything is in intact because this client seems she seems to have a lot of loose nails and she glues them back on with super glue and it'd be a whole bunch of super glue around her cuticle area and i know you're watching this i know you're watching this don't do that um now i'm just going in with my cuticle bit and I'm just um, filing away the dead cuticle off the nail plate and I'm kind of pu pushing back the cuticle as well just a little bit just a little bit
So now that everything is correct and you know everything is prepped and from I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start the fill in and I'm going to go in with dynamic nail supply cutest pink and I'm just gonna go in with the fill in I am using um, dynamic nail supplies um, monomer as well I use basically their entire acrylic system I love dynamic nail supply if you know you know they are really affordable like I just love them I love them love them love them love them I am going to do a video of all my of my entire acrylic collection because I don't have any swatches of any of my acrylics so I decided that I'm just gonna make a video of it and I have a lot of acrylics um, majority of them are dynamic nail supply because that is just what I started with and then I do have a few other brands that I did just also venture out and buy. I have not bought, I have not tried them yet. So I'm excited to try those. And yeah, so be on the lookout for that video. Um, yeah, it's just a lot going on. But I'm going to hush. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of me doing this acrylic fill-in and then we'll get into um, shaping and filing. I better find a 
find your loving, I better find your heart. I better find your loving, I better find your heart. I better find your loving, I better find your heart. I better find give all my love, and nothing's gonna tear us apart. So now I'm going to go in with my 80-80 grit hand file and I'm just going to shape up the nails. I like to start off with the side walls, the free edge, and then I like to go on top of the nail. Yep, and then once I'm done with that, with all uh, 10 fingers, I do like to go um, go in with my e-file with a 5-in-1 drill bit around the cuticle area and kind of the bulk. Um, kind of lately, since this is an old video, like back in February, since this is an old video, um, I do want to say that I do kind of, um, my shaping and filing just a little bit different. I kind of go in now with my... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? I kind of go in with just, I don't know what I'm trying to say. So let's just scratch it until I think of it again, y'all. I'm so sorry. That happens to me a lot to where I can have a train of thought of what I want to say. And then when it gets down to me to actually say it, it's gone. So I have to, I will revisit that again once it, whenever it comes back in my head. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, you guys, this um, is a spring set, as you guys probably see in the um, thumbnail. This is a spring set. This was a really fun set to do. I really enjoyed doing the set. I used some transfer foils. Um, I need to promote more of what I have here because my client didn't even know I had transfer foils. She's like, oh, girl, what's that? I'm like, girl, this is an easy way to do some flowers. Like, yes, let's do that because... At first, I did try to, you know, do um, a flower myself, and I didn't feel too confident about it, so I was just like, what do you think about this? And she was like, it's cute, it's cute, I like it, but me, I was just like, nope, mm -mm. let me pull out these transfer foils that I got, and boom, we're gonna do that. So, that's gonna be coming up, um, I don't know what happened with some of the clips with that, but... Anyways, that's neither here nor there. But um, yeah, now I'm just going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit. I'm going in around the cuticle area to seal that cuticle area. You definitely want to seal the cuticle area because you don't want any water to get up under. You do not want um, any lifting to occur. And you want it to look really nice like it's just coming out of the natural nail bed. So yeah, I think those are the three or four points of still in the cuticle area you feel me definitely don't want any water to get up under it because um i did have a client that did have water up under the nail she had a greenie and i was shocked and surprised and upset with myself but 
yeah things happen but um yeah i'm just gonna finish up right here and i will be back well it looks like we're finished now we're gonna shape file and shape them a little bit more and buff them just give me all of you in exchange for me for me break it down So after shape, file, and buffing, you know, getting the nails together, I like to offer my clients a um, sugar scrub on their service. It is not a add-on that they have to add on. This is something that I do because I want them to have a luxury experience. So I do um, free sugar scrubs in all of my appointments. I fill in your first appointment, your third appointment, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna give you a sugar scrub because I want you to have a nice experience. So that is what I did. Um, yeah. So, um, what is something that you guys offer, or what is something that you guys think I should offer complimentary more in my services? I think once I kind of get it, you know, more set up in here how I want it, I'm gonna have a refrigerator, and I think I'm gonna offer like wine. That way, it can be a vibe. Um, I'm definitely going to have like, you know, like when things come up, give them like little goodie bags and um, little raffles, little treats, you know, things like that. So um, once everything starts to come into motion, I'm definitely going to add all of those things. So I'm not going to rush it. In my mind, I want to rush it because I want to go ahead and get it and just, you know, do it but i need to stop trying to rush things so much because it's going to happen god's gonna god's gonna work a miracle and it is going to happen it's not gonna happen on my time but it's gonna happen on the right time so i need to just chill but moving on now um i'm going to go ahead and get into the nail design here so now i'm just going to do some french tips i'm going to do a french tip on the pinky finger and the thumb and I think I did the French tip on another finger, but um, I just didn't record it. <laughs> My girlfriend telling me that she went to Walmart. There's yeah, all the damn shelves empty. Did they have a sale? Not one pack of cheese and no lunch meat. <laughs> oh my gosh, not one single lunch meat in the whole store. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, but anyways, you guys, yeah, I'm just doing my little French tip here. I really think my um French tip has came a long way. I am so proud of my French tips. Yep, so proud. And also, I do want to let you guys know, if you've been here before, you already know that before I do any nail art, I do like to go in with a matte top coat just to make it a little smoother. Now, I did see Top Beauty here on uh, YouTube she used oil to buff the nails and that made them very smooth before she went in to do her uh, nail art so you know we might give that a try we might give that a try definitely we might do but um anyways y'all y'all see that little piece of paper where my um color palette is of where i'm picking up my gels guess what That is honestly a transparent post-it note. Mm -hmm. Got it from the Dolly Tree. So I just stick it on my desk and then I deposit the colors onto the post-it note and then I do my nail design. And when I'm done, 
I lift it right up and throw it right in the trash. Dollar Tree. That's a tip. That way you don't have to worry about all those pallets, cleaning those pallets and you know, all that extra stuff. I have a couple of pallets and you'll forget that it's color on the palette. You'll be done cured the shit. Now your palette's stuck with cured gel polish. It be looking raggedy. Then you gotta buy a new one and all that. So no, I found these post-it notes and they're not like paper because they're transparent. So they're not paper. They're like, I don't know what, I don't know what this is, but yeah you see it i suggest you hop on it and get it dollar tree dollar 25 they shouldn't even be called the dollar tree no more it's ridiculous they even have a five dollar section like it's ridiculous now what has the world come to like oh my gosh you guys i want to touch bases on i don't know if anybody here that watches me have any kids but you guys I have a five-year-old, okay, and she's gonna start kindergarten, kindergarten this year, and um, the grading scale is what kind of what kind of grading scale is this? Because um, this is ridiculous, and I'm located in Florida, and um, the grading scale here it seems like they're just pushing the kids along, you know, and that's just uh -uh. I have. In my day and age in school, you had to work for the honor roll. You know, it was hard getting the honor roll, especially if you didn't study and stuff. Like, and that was just like, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, that's totally off topic here. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But, um, yeah. So now, um, I'm just finishing up my little French tip here on the thumb. All these gel polishes came off of Amazon. I don't even know the brand, but they came off of Amazon. And this is the transfer foil that I'm going to use. Um, right now, I'm just sizing it out, trying to see where I want to place it, how I want it to look, or whatever like that. I got nervous, y'all. I don't know why, but I got nervous. But it still came out really, really cute. It came out really cute. But I'm just sizing it out, placing it how I want it. And now I'm gonna go in with the um, transfer foil and I'm gonna put one coat of that onto the nails and I'm gonna cure it in the lamp. I think I made her cure it in the lamp for a total of two minutes. Yeah, 90 seconds. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Because I felt like the longer you cure it, the more stickier it is. And then you let it sit for a little while just a, just a little bit to let it like dry off from the heat and then you put your transfer foil on and it'll transfer over really really good so that's a little tip there too hmm. So now I'm gonna go in with my McCart rhinestone glue and I am going to blink out this nail. Um, I use some of the nail charm, well, the rhinestones that I got from, I think it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It was Hobby Lobby that they had a clearance or all of their Preciosos. I know I'm saying that wrong, I'm fucking it up, but um, I got a whole bunch of them. So I'm just going in with those. That That's the blue ones. That's what I'm talking about right there. Those are the ones that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I went in with some AB rhinestones as well. Uh, the AB rhinestones, I'm not sure where I got those. I collect them from all over. Amazon, Shein, uh, just, just anywhere that I can get some good looking AB rhinestones. And they really went well with, that precio with those Preciosos. Uh, from Hobby Lobby so that was a really cute little uh, bling placement that I did and I really liked it she really liked it this is a client she really loves bling and I really love bling too so I really be wanting to go out out on the bling but I just be a little I be holding back just a little bit just a little bit but now I'm just gonna go in with some um some 3d flowers um and some, I think I'm gonna go in with some rhinestones as well, but I'm gonna put some 3D flowers on the nails. And um, once I do that, I am gonna go in with some cuticle bling 
on the ring finger where I did the transfer foil and then after that I'm just gonna go in with some top coat So we're wrapping up the video. This is the end of the video. I'm just going to finish doing this top coat and my client's going to cure her nails in the lamp for a total of 60 seconds. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I have been gone for a while, but I'm kind of back now. <laughs> but um, yeah, comment down below, subscribe, let me know what you think of the nails. I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Bye.